Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here. Thought I would sit down and do a video for you guys and gals. Let me give you guys a bicep shot before we start. Uh, about bicephalus. And yes, I am fully aware I do not have good bicep insertions. We all know this before anyone needs to chime in, okay? Let's get that out of the way. Okay, now that we made that point clear and people realized it was done in humor, uh, Let's talk about basics in biohacking. Everyone wants to sell you biohacking these days. They want to sell you gimmicks. They want to sell you gimmicks. This special diet, this special exercise, this special supplement, this cold therapy. I have a hack to boost your testosterone, right? All these, all these things. None of them really work, do they? Because everyone who is successful in the fitness game, who develops a, an impressive body, doesn't always even have to be physique, anyone who's strong, fit, jacked, have a few things in common, don't they? Right? With exceptions, and when people say, well, I can think of an exception. Right, because it is so rare, they have to point out that they're an exception. Okay, and I wanna be clear on that. You know they're an exception because they're the person who says, I don't do this that everyone else who's successful does. So maybe they're a weird genetic freak or, or they could still be doing better or they just use enough stuff they get away with it or whatever it happens to be. Reality. The basics. Basics of training, diet, and consistency. That's your biohack. That is your biohack. And it works. Problem is, it's hard to sell that, isn't it? And what do I mean? What are a few key points? Before we'll get into training in a second. Diet. Almost everyone who develops an impressive level of musculature, barring the little tiny set of exceptions, what do you see? They tend to eat a lot of protein, okay? You always see generally high protein diets, irrespective of what type it is, whether they eat a ton of meat, they're a vegan, vegetarian, a keto, a paleo, they just eat a normal bro diet. Almost every time there's a focus on protein. Why? We, we've got research showing why we know that protein overfeeding causes recomposition in humans. That's not a controversial statement to make at this point. In fact, the studies show that when you try to force feed protein, even when you try to bulk and gain weight, you tend to lose body fat. Now you see where we're going with this? Everyone eats a diet that helps them gain muscle and controls body fat in some manner with basics. And how are they doing that? They're either counting calories or they're doing something that restricts their ability to overeat without fail. Because we know that hard bulking doesn't build more muscle. That's what the research is showing more and more. So if you bulk hard, then you got to cut. I mean, people still do that. But the end result, they, they ended up cutting, so they, they still ended up restricting. Okay? But people who eat enough to gain muscle while controlling body fat. And that's not a biohack. They're either doing it through cleaner eating or they're doing it through controlling calories or intermittent fasting. I mean, in any, any combination of those will tend to work. Any of those combination will tend to work. Okay. But so you're either gonna see usually really high protein with either some intermittent fasting, really high protein with bro eating, chicken, broccoli, brown rice, or some diet that restricts appetite, or they just simply count calories. It's very basic. Those are all basic approaches. They're all successful. But what do they all have in common? All of them control the amount that you eat through some mechanism. And then you need to understand that that's the mechanism at play. And they usually have eaten a lot of protein. All right, the training. Basic training and consistency. Okay? All this other stuff added has not improved people's results. And I'm not saying machines can't work, special exercise can't. Don't, do not get me wrong. I am not saying they don't work. I'm saying they don't bring anything special to the table. 
In other words, people are not gaining more muscle using any of these things than they did with barbells, dumbbells. It's normal free weight, big movements. That's it's isolation work. You know, again, I want to be clear. I, I like lateral raises. I do preacher curl. I do all those things. I'm not telling people not to do isolation movements. What I'm saying is, by and large, the basics have always worked. Your muscles don't really care. So again, I, can people certainly get jacked on machines? Yeah, but there's no hypertrophy advantage, in my opinion, from it. There isn't. It's still tension. Your muscles care about the tension placed on that muscle. That's it. That is what causes the muscles to grow. Tension, the fatigue and tension and the mechanical overload placed on the individual fibers. That's it. The fibers don't care where you get it. But you're probably going to be a little more athletic. You're going to be a little more functional if you're doing the basic stuff. So I tend to push people in that direction. But keep in mind, what do they all have in common? The resistance, specific resistance is put on the muscles you want to grow. More specifically, on the fibers you want to grow, they need to be recruited. They need to be actively recruited, period. People will follow progressive overload and they do so consistently for long periods of time, okay? See where we're going? This is, all your people pushing biohacks have all done this. All of these people who are jacked, they're strong, they're fit, they have nice abs, all this stuff. This is how they got there every single time. They ate some sort of high protein diet to where they controlled what they eat. They learned some sort of good eating habits to control intake, whether it was a specific diet or just counting. They all ate a lot of protein. They all trained the muscles that they wanted to grow with some basic progressive overload over time. They had progressive overload present for long periods of time. Usually years, years. When you really look at the people with the most impressive results out there, the majority of them who have really gotten impressive results, how long have they been doing it consistently? Even the ones who are pushing their biohack, you're like, but bro, I see stuff from you training 12, 13 years ago. You've been training consistently a little while. That's their biohack. Okay, so here's what it all comes down to. Following those basic diet principles, following those basic training principles, and applying it for years and years and years consistently. And that's it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.